Today, I've got a mystery box that was sent to me from the company Epic Toys and Collectibles out of Athens, Alabama. So once every like, three months or so, they send me a mystery box with some of their mystery boxes that you can buy on their website. They sent them to me just for me to review and show the viewers on YouTube. So I'm gonna crack this open and see what mystery boxes are available on their website now. Yeah, huge shout out to Epic Toys and Collectibles once again for uh, sending out some boxes to me. We got a note on top. It says, hello Clint. We hope you enjoy Epic Box's newest release, the Epic Halloween Box. We sent you an ultimate box that includes two autographs, one of them being an autograph Funko Pop. How awesome is that? Our next release will be Epic Cold Classic and will feature Big Trouble in Little China, Masters of the Universe, The Movie, The Lost Boys, and The Princess Bride. This release will feature multiple signers and several pops and deluxe action figures. This release will be available for pre-order on New Year's Day 2022, so January 1st, 2022. Thank you, Epic Toys and Collectibles. So what I have in here is the newest Epic box, the Epic Halloween box. Nice. With an autographed Funko Pop inside. I get the box out. There we go. So here we go looking at sealed Epic Halloween box. I'm excited to see what Funko Pop is autographed. If it's a Halloween theme, could it be a Nick Castle, maybe a Kane Hodder, maybe a Robert England, Doug Bradley. Possibilities are kind of endless. Yeah, so it says two autographs, one of them being an autographed Funko Pop. Here we go. What is in here? On top, that's probably, yep, that's the cheat sheet. We don't want to see it. Get it away. <laughs> Stay away, cheat sheet. Here we go. Pull out some of the paper. Okay, there's the Funko Pop. I feel like it's actually in a hard stack, too. And, okay, there's like... I just do it one first because it's actually on top of what feels like an action figure. And here we go. Oh, the bottom popped off of the pop stack. That's one of the problems with pop stacks. The bottoms pop off. And we have Mary Sanderson. That's super cool. I actually met her at, um, what was it, Cincinnati Comic Con back in, I think it's 2019. Um, Kathy, her name is Kathy. Um, actually, there's a vlog on this YouTube channel whenever I met her, and she was super nice to meet in person. Super nice. I think this is actually, this is, is this the newer line? Because they came out with the newer line of Funko Pops now for Hocus Pocus. I think this is actually the newer one. I had her sign the original one, and I think, yeah, I had her sign the original one, which was her riding her vacuum sweeper. Like in Hocus Pocus. Of course, this is JSA Authenticated. That's super cool right there. Digging that. So it's, it's actually nice because it's, they're actually, it's two different pop signs. So I'll be keeping both. I'm actually trying to get the entire set signed. Um, pull it back out again. The certificate is covering up the other ones. I still need um, Winifred Sanderson and then the Sarah Sanderson signed by the actresses who played them. Um, I guess now, either the newest Hocus Pocus line or the original Hocus Pocus line. But, um, oh, what is their... Oh, Bette Midler played Winifred Sanderson. And then, um, what is her name? Sex and the City female um, played Sarah Sanderson. So I'm looking for either the original ones or this reissue um, Funko Pops of the Hocus Pocus signed by the other two. Because I, I like collecting complete autograph fungal pop sets like I'm working on the on the Goonies set I only need um, data from the original pop line I only need the data signed and um, don't forget the certificate put it back in there and like I need the Sandlot only one I need for Sandlot to have the complete set signed is Bernie um, not Bernie Benny Benny anyway yeah Okay, here we go. I think there's an autographed action figure here, it feels like. At least there's an action figure in here. 
Okay, but it's not on. I first pulled out, I'm like, ooh, Beetlejuice. Is this Michael Keaton? I know Michael Keaton has only ever done one private signing. And he did it, was it early last year? He did a private signing. I can't remember which company it was. Oh, I think it was through uh, Twin City Comics. Um, I think it was like 250 or 300 bucks an autograph. And I sent in two fungal pops. I sent in a, a Beetlejuice pop and he, and he signed a Beetlejuice pop. I sent in a Batman 1989 fungal pop and he signed that one also. So yeah, Michael Keaton autographs are pretty hard to come by because he does not do private signing. That, that was his first ever private sign he's ever done for like the fans and for a company. But that's super cool right there. Toonie Terror's Beetlejuice. There's obviously some other stuff too. Let's see, we have a pin. We're the Monster Squad, Stephen King rules. So we got like a pin inside, Monster Squad. That's the 1980s movie, I think, right? Can somebody tell me what's going on around here? Who are you? We're the Monster Squad. I actually own this movie on digital, the Monster Squad. They had it on sale on Vudu for like five bucks and I bought it. I watched it, but this is a few months ago and I don't really remember Maybe somebody in the movie was wearing a pin that says Stephen King rules. I don't remember, honestly. But uh, here we go. little advertisement for coming soon. Epic Cult Classics pre-orders New Year's Day 2022. Like little promo it talked about. Then, of course, the franchises that are going to be in that one. My name is Horace. What movie is that from? My name is Horace. I'm drawing a blank. I can't think what that is from. Cheat sheet will tell us though. Here we go, going back in. I think all that's left is possibly an autograph. Looks like we have an autograph. Oh, hold on. I think we have an art print and an, and an autograph. Yeah, we do. We have an art print. And it is Beetlejuice. Pretty cool art print. The artist is Ace Vito, it looks like. It says, thank you for, so it looks like, yeah, the artist is Ray Ace Vito, who did the art print. Pretty cool. And last time should be the autograph 8x10 that is in a top loader. I don't want to see it. Is that it? Yeah. So that, that is it in the Halloween, the epic Halloween box. Show you first. Who do we have? And I dropped it. Uh oh. It I guess the voice of Spike. It says yum yum, the gremlins. Oh, that's cool. Let's see, Mark Dobson. Look like it was signed by Mark Dobson. Got a picture of him on there. The Epic Collectibles off authentication stamp on there. Mark Dobson, I'm guessing he either he either he was the puppeteer or he was the voice. One or the other. Either one, that's super cool. Now we'll go into my autograph collection. Let's see the cheat sheet. Epic Box is very excited to have these signed Kathy Najimi Funko Pops as Mary Sanderson from Hocus Pocus. Each one pop will also include a hard stack pop protector. But yeah, if anybody has the Sarah Sanderson and Winifred Sanderson autographed by the actresses from either the like the newest line of Hocus Pocus Pops or the original line of Hocus Pocus Pocus Pops, I can't even say that. Hocus Pocus Pops, it's a tongue twister, hit me up. I'm a buyer for them. I want to get the whole set signed. And then here we go. It says, Epic Box is proud to have Mark Dobson as our signer for this release. Mark is a very talented actor that has entertained us with his Star Wars characters, but also as the Gremlin Monsters. So it says he is an actor, so he must have been the voice then. It must have been the voice of uh, of Spike, it looks like. That's pretty cool. That'll go into my personal autograph collection. We are celebrating the ghost with the most, featuring an action figure from NECA. Oh, that's actually a NECA figurine. Neck actually makes some pretty high quality figurines. Since we're celebrating the Ghost of the Most featuring action figure from the neck and an incredible art print from the very talented artist Ray Ace Vito. Then the pin, it says, join the Monster Squad by rocking this pin inspired by the famous t-shirt. After you pass Sean Monster's test, of course. So that was the, the Epic Halloween box by Epic Toys and Collectibles. This was a good box. I enjoyed it. It's always nice whenever you get an autographed Funko Pop in a mystery box. It's always a little bonus. I enjoy that. So anyway, huge shout out to Epic Toys and Collectibles. Go link down below to the website. Check them out. And make sure you get their newest cult classics box going on sale January 1st, 2022. I'll see you next time.